All right, folks, here we go. Last one that I'm going to draw in 2019. Uh, you will see this sometime in January, end of January 2020, but I'm drawing in 2019. It's going to be the last one I draw this year, uh, at least for Facebook, or not Facebook, for YouTube. Why did I say Facebook? I don't know. Go to pattern collections dot com to see all of the patterns go to uh our facebook group to chit chat with everybody um mimi has done a video on this one already but um i actually didn't watch it because i wanted to do my own thing here and fireworks swirl is the name of this pattern so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a circle small one right in the middle from that circle we're going to make some arms coming out from that arm we're going to do a few of these auras and then another arm and then we're going to do a few more auras and another arm and then a few more auras and another arm. And we're gonna do that all the way around, whatever size you want it to be. A few more auras, another arm, a few more auras, another arm. And you end up with this radiating spiral pattern. Um, I'm going to do the all the arms coming from the same side so it radiates this way, just like this one. Um, it looked like from the video pattern, just like the, the thumbnail, that Mimi did not do it that way. She has some of them going back to back. I don't think I want to do that. Oops, wrong, wrong way. So I want to make sure that all of my arms are on the same side of my main stem, if that makes sense. So they're not like back to back. I think that's what I want to do. But you can have different widths, different sizes, different lengths. Um, we're just going to play with it. There's, there's the sample. Let's see how they're all on... Um, one side of the stem. Does that make sense? They're all on one side of this stem. But I think I might, I don't know if I want just four main stems or if I want more. Maybe not. We'll do, do four main stems. We'll make them all on the one side of the stem. Okay, let's give this a go. See what happens. See what kind of fun thing I can make out of this. Do I want yellow? I'm not sure if I want yellow as my background page. Let me let me dig in my papers and see what colors I have left. I have gray. Not feeling gray. I just did a red. I have blue. A pink. And then I have a yellow. Eh, we'll stick with yellow what I chose. It's what I gravitated toward at the beginning when I first grabbed paper. So I'm just going to go with my gut and see what happens. Um, wondering if I want to do more than one of these. That I don't know either. Do I want to put three on here? I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. But if I do one sort of in this general area and one here, a smaller one, and one here, can I do that? Kind of radiating out toward each other? Would that be interesting? I think it would. Can we make the arms of that not straight? Can we make them a curve? 
I want to try it. So I think I'm going to put a, a one here in this general corner of that's that's the standard one and then I think I'm going to play with some thoughts here. I'm going to put three on this page. Okay. That's my plan. Oh, 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 oh. Lost my lid. Uno momento. Ah. Okay. So we're going to start with a small center. And from that small center, we're going to put four radiating arms. Let's do them. They're not exactly square, which is okay, because I think that's, that will help help the design. And then we're going to do this sort of a shape, kind of, kind of, kind of come up and around and down like that. A few of those, and then a radiating line going. that way. And then some more of these. And then another radiating line. And then some more of these. some more of those. And I can do one more line, I think. Something like that. And then from here, we can build Lines like that. Something like so, I think. I think that's the plan here. that and then <coughs> excuse me
something like that. That's a little wide, but that's okay. Why not? This is fun. You, you'll notice that I'm not talking a whole lot. And when that happens, it's because I'm really enjoying myself and I'm getting in the zone and I'm not, not really in the mood to talk. So this is fun. I like this. I like what's happening here. Let's try another one um, right here. And I'm going to try to try a different shape with the arms. I'm going to try starting with more of a curvy shape. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to have more more arms I think. I'll start with five instead of four. And we're just going to see what happens if you try it with a more radiating Curvy line. That's a fun shape. I'm, I'm okay with that shape. Are you? I'm just enjoying myself. This is a super fun one. I like this with the with the curvy lines so much better. Just because it's the it's more of me. It's more of my style.
Oh yeah. That, 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 this one. This one. This one's cool. This one makes me happy. Look how pretty that is. That's so easy to do. I like that so much better than that one. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I don't know exactly what to do with it now. Because this seems so stiff and this is so fluid. As a singular piece of artwork, I'm not sure what I might want to do to make that come together and be cohesive. I don't think I want a third one. I, at first I thought I wanted to put a third one there, but I don't think so. I think what I want to do is maybe... Maybe use these straight lines behind there. More bold. Just really emphasize this burst and maybe bring this burst in front of this burst, maybe. Something like that. I like that. Okay. I'm, I'm happier with that. And then maybe some sort of shading to really bring that. I don't know. Not too hundred percent sure what I want to do with this, but it's 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 telling me to kind of just shade it like this. I don't know if that's what it really needs. 
Now if it doesn't work with the shading, I can always um, erase it. But I feel like that that's what it wants. It wants to be shaded like that. What do you guys think? Is that what it wanted? It seems to be seems to be happy. seems to be happy like that so I think that's what it wanted and then maybe for these guys we just want a little bit on the arms maybe it feels like it wants something. almost feel like I want something sparkly, but I'm afraid that that's going to overwhelm it. And that's not really what I want. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think, I think it's good. This was called Fireworks Swirl. And the, the prompt was 2020. I don't know how I'm supposed to draw 2020. So I'm just leaving it as Fireworks Swirl. Um, But I really like kind of, it's almost like an old and a new. Maybe that's 2020 where it's got the old pattern and a new pattern. It's just juxtapo juxtaposition of, of them. That might be kind of a cool way to look at it. Sign it in there. Fireworks Swirl 2020. I like the way that came out though. I'm I'm really happy with the adding the extensions to this one. It's really made it more dynamic than the static that it was when it was just sitting there so stiff. I like it. I like it a lot, but I really like this. That that really that really makes me happy. I'm so glad. All right, you guys have a great day. This was the last one I'm going to draw for YouTube in the year 2019. I'll be back with more videos in 2020. Um, I'm not yet burned out. Some of the YouTubers I'm watching um, that have been doing it for a very long time are starting to hit that burnout stage and they're wanting to change their content or they're wanting to change their upload schedule. Um, I've already done that. I used to do it one time, uh, once every single day. That was more than I could handle. I did it for quite some time. So now I'm at three times a day or three times a week, which seems to be a good content pace or schedule for me. Um, and we'll see what moves forward. You never know. I may 
get to the point where I also want to back off a little bit more. But right now, three, three times a week seems to be a good uh, pace that I can manage. So, um, cause I can do three drawings in one day. So I'm basically drawing one day a week. Um, but when I have to plan ahead for things like holidays, Christmas, New Year's, all of that sort of thing, I need to get myself ahead, which means you guys see it way behind, but that's okay. It is what it is. So, um, just want to let you know that I feel like I'm in a good position and I'm not going to be going anywhere. But I do know that there are a lot of big YouTubers who have backed off. Um, it is what it is. So the YouTube nature of YouTube is changing. Things are, are fluid. Things are moving. Um, and we just do what we got to do on the days that we do it. Um, I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it for fame. I'm doing this for my own personal uh, growth and learning and enjoyment and I'm just bringing you guys along with me so um, I'm going to continue that in the next year I'm really not going to change what I do or my content in any significant way I don't think although you never know what plans God has for you you never know so um, anyway I just want to let you know that that's where I'm at in my personal journey and um Tell me, you guys tell me in the comments if, um, if there's anything in particular that um, you think needs to change or that, you know, what's going on in your life that's causing you um, to be able to be more or less productive in your artwork. That's, that's always a, a challenge. That's a challenge. It really is. So in 2020, hopefully you can be more consistent with your drawing schedule. Whether you upload it or share it or any of that is personally up to you. Um, I draw my YouTube videos once a week. And um, I usually draw at least one other time a week just for my own personal enjoyment. But that's me and my schedule. So I need to draw at least twice a week to feel um happy content comfortable um creative that's 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 me i want to know what you guys think what what is your schedule do you how often do you have to draw to feel um really purposeful in and and um calming D is it every day is it twice a week is it three times a week is it once a month um, let me know. I'd like to know. And you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. I will, my personal self will be here in 2020. And, um, hopefully I'll be refreshed. Hopefully I won't catch everybody's germs that tend to happen in 2019 Christmas season. Yeah. That, I'm, I'm pumping myself full of vitamin C, zinc, uh, whatever other things that I can pump myself up with, with keeping my immune system as strong as it can be, because I don't want that crud. I really don't. My son came home with it. My husband's got it. My friend's got it. I don't want it. I really don't. So I will see you guys later. I've been just yammering for no reason. And um, you guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today, okay? Bye.